All right, all right, come on, we have to go, we have to go. Oh, I didn't have time. Oh, I didn't have to. Okay, we need soup. Hello and welcome to Mr. Red Wears Real Headphones for the first time. I don't know how this is gonna work out because I usually don't do this. I sound very muffled to myself. I can't really hear what I'm saying. Also, this weird static keeps showing up and I have no idea if it's actually part of the game or if it's these headphones or if it's gonna be in the speakers or what's going on. This is a game called 60 Seconds or 60 Parsecs? See there, was it, was it? So when I hear that, when I edit this, if I hear it, then good. That means it's game. So we're gonna play this game. I th I think this na the the point of this game is you have sixty seconds to save yourself, and the world's gonna end. We're gonna do classic mode. Uh, okay, atomic drill, apocalypse, scavenge, survival. Select the type of atomic adventure. I don't know. Atomic drill. Learn all about how to scavenge and survive in the events of a nuclear apocalypse. This tutorial is 100% approved by the establishment. All right, cool, let's do it. Let's begin the adventure. We're gonna have to learn how to know this in the event of a nuclear apocalypse. Bad smell, toxic, toxic, toxic fang. Oh, hello, here's me. Welcome to your atomic scavenge drill. Pay attention and you might just make it. I thwumped, I thwumped, oh, I thwumping. Hold the grab control to skip my words, but every time you do, the reds will drop an extra nuke? Don't! Move to the- no time to waste, get moving and head to the mark point in front of you. Wait. Where is it? Oh! I whumped! I thwumped again! Oh, here it is. Okay, yeah, I did it. I- I- yay, I survived. I can't look up or down, I can only move side to side. What? What are these posters? Oh, I didn't read what he said! Uh, one more time. You know the drill. Marker. Living room. Go, go, go. Okay. <laughs> Can I sprint? I don't think so. Okay, not bad, but you better be in good shape. There is more where that came from. You know what? I'm ready for it. I'm I'm thirsty for it. Okay, fun time's over. Oh, that sucks. It's a matter of life and death now. Find your son, Timmy. ASAP, go! Timmy! Timmy, we only have 60 seconds, Timmy! Are you Timmy? Timmy! Where's Timmy? Oh, God, where's Timmy? Timmy, no! He's gotta be in this room, right? Oh, that's not a room! That's outside, actually. Where's Timmy? Where the hell is Tim? Where's Timmy? Ah, uh, daughter, where, uh, have you seen, uh, old Timmy? Old Tim Tim. Gotta find. Gotta find! Oh, jeez, so I got a little scared there. You know, it's quiet. I'm gonna turn it up. Alright. Ooh, that's very loud now. That's fine. Uh, this has gotta be Timmy's room. Oh, there's Tim! Timmy! Hello, Timmy! Good thing you know the layout of your house. I bet the reds know it too. How? Why? Okay, now what? Stop. Timmy, pick up your stuff. Okay, family comes first. Grab Timmy. He will be the first to visit your cozy shelter. Okay. All right, I'm grabbing Timmy. Oh, ow. Sorry, Timmy. Timmy? Oh, I got him. <laughs> I got Timmy. That's it. Consider taking other family members too. I'll leave the exact priorities to you. Oh, do I have to like choose my family members? Oh, f wait. T T Timmy is safe, but you need to find food to keep the shelter stocked. Okay. Find the highlighted soup can and grab it. Why is Timmy- why does Timmy take up two spaces, Timmy? Sorry. Ooh, I keep- I'm running into stuff. Up. Oh, there it is. Right? Oh, the highlighted- what the, there's literally soup right in front of me! I can't do it, though. Okay. Uh, what you're looking for is the highlighted soup can. There's so many soup cans! Just let me grab the soup cans. Is it this one? Yeah, okay. Soup, an excellent choice. This can can sustain a family of four for a day. All right, I'm gonna take, ah, I can't take my daughter with me. Every American atomic shelter also needs a supply of water. Hunt for some bottles. Okay, great. I will hunt for some bottles. I'm on the hunt for some bottles. They'll never see me coming. I'm hunting. Uh, is this water? <laughs> I feel like this is a good thing to grab and take with me. There's a little action figure. There's a health bottle of water. You will need it. Trust me. Yeah, I know, guy. I can't find it, though. I think you're lying to me about this bottle of water. Stop running into things. Ow, Jesus. I'm going to get bruised. I'm going to get bruised. Uh, Hey, real quick. Where's the water? Is there like a button I can press? No, I don't think so. 
I don't think there's a button I can press. Okay, well, where might I find? Uh, can you help, please? What are you doing? What are you doing right now? What are you reading? Yeah, that's cool. It seems to be absolutely nothing. Okay, cool. Why don't we find the water, though? Where's the water? Am I dumb? Don't answer that. Ow! 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 Oh, here it is. Here's the water bottle. Got it. Yeah! Okay, that's enough water for now. But you've got yourself another pro you got yourself a problem, Buster. I'm sure that I do. Well, my toilet paper is sitting here. You can only carry so much, and every item weighs one slot, except for my son, apparently. You need to drop whatever you're carrying at the hatch before you can pick up more. Okay. I'll drop it off at the hatch. What is this, lost? It is lost. Ooh, drop whatever you're carrying down the shelter. There we go. Ooh. Ooh, Timmy. Timmy, that's... You better watch your step there, Timmy. That's 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 a spicy meat ball for sure. Bingo! You got yourself a small stockpile of food. No one knows how long you'll be staying down there, so you'll need a radio. I know where that is. Boom! All right, that's it. Nothing's more useful than news from the radioactive outside world. Bam! Check me out. Sometimes you can get a few extra seconds before the siren sounds to scout your surroundings. But after it goes off, you need to start packing. Not like packing it in. Don't start eating. I mean, you will need food. Our incredibly advanced warning system gives you 60 seconds, that's the name of the game, to scavenge what you need and get yourself to safety. Let's give it a try. Collect at least five more items and family members in the next 60 seconds. Okay, okay, uh, next 60 seconds. Make sure. Oh, I didn't read it. Okay, come with me. Yes. Oh, no. Oh, God, no. No room. Oh, my family. Oh, my family. All right, all right. Come on, we have to go. We have to go. Oh, I didn't have time. Oh, I didn't have to. Okay, we need soup. We need more soup. Uh, we need more soup. Okay, got it. Oh, do I have? Yes. All right, I got the water. Okay. Uh, 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 oh, I, I got more water. Soup. Okay, I got a ton of soup. All right, fine. I'll take the life. You got some supplies. Remember, uh, you collect more if you want. Remember to close the shell. Get close to the shelter. Okay. Ow, I am really just running <laughs> into some stuff. Oh, we need to play games. That's important. We don't need any more food. We need some water, though. Yeah, okay. Oh, God. I'm running out of time. Oh, I'm running out of time. This is actually quite harrowing. Uh, ow, stop. Did I break that? Collect five items or drop them off. More water. Okay. What else? What else? What else? Hey, uh, whatever this is. I think it's games. Oh, it's cards. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Boom. Awesome. All right. Now what? Uh, do I, do I jump in now? I'm done. Okay. There we go. The nukes. The nukes. I don't like this. This is frightening. Am I gonna, am I gonna die? Am I gonna blow up? Oh, I'll see you downstairs for survival training. Eddie's, good job. Oh, jeez. Okay, let's get a, let's get a hurt. Why do they have like radioactive paraphernalia? That doesn't seem. Uh... Oh, essence of life, basis of survival. An atomic adventure awaits. Awesome. Well, I guess we did it. Day one. Oh, okay. Here we go. At least we have stuff to do. Oh, what's this now? Checkers. What's this now? Day one, you made it to the shelter, congratulations! But the drill's not over yet. You'll need, you'll end up here with whatever and whoever you brought with you, nothing else. So you'll need to make the most of it. The next few days, we'll teach you how to survive down here while the world outside burns. Explore and interact with your surroundings. You can always find out useful things about your shelter and its inhabitants, bug. Uh, when your survival journal is not opened yet or hidden, First things first, we must ration food and water. You don't, if you don't whine and dine yourself and the folks you brought with you, you can bet your bottom dollar none of you will see the light of day again. As long as you have food and water available, ration it out to a given person by selecting the picture of a can or bottled water under their portrait or instantly ration out both by clicking on the character's image. Of course, you might save your supplies for later, but a normal person can only survive four days without water. As to food, the longer you deny your people's rations, the weaker they will get and might eventually get sick. Even if you manage to cure them, it will take you quite a few cans and a lot of time to replenish their strength. Cool. Okay, time to ration supplies. We have one, two, three, four soups and one, two, three, four watts. So what do I want to do? Like, I'll just give one of each to each. Oh, oh, okay. So, well then, great. I have enough for what, four days? Cool, well, 
Since this is your first day down here, we'll need to get used to your surroundings. Believe me, ventilation hum can drive anyone nuts if you don't occupy yourself with something to do. <laughs> get some decent rest and we'll carry on tomorrow. Nighty night. Ooh, that's terrifying. All right, yeah, well, this sucks. Why are we doing this? Is it? Oh, oh. Wow, that is, uh, that is some quick stubble. Okay, so this is just a drill, though. So you guys can go upstairs if you want. Okay, good morning, survivalists. Hope you slept well. Bed's comfy enough? No? We'll better get used to it since you'll be staying here for a while. Uh, we'll start today's activities with rationing since you need to do it every day. But after that, we will move on to something else. Got your attention? Good. Now listen, there is a risk you will run out of supplies eventually. Everything can be useful, but food and water are critical for your survival. To your survival. If they're gone, you will be gone sooner than you can say corn dog. I just said it. And I said a bunch of other stuff. And I'm going to continue to say other stuff. In fact, I'm saying this right now. And I'm still here. So sometimes you will need to send people to the surface to bring more supplies. Ooh, what is this fallout shelter? You do this by preparing an expedition a day before it actually departs. Be careful though, picking up my keyboard that I'm using to play this game. Um, uh, lost my place. Tired survivors can never be a part of an expedition. Today, we will skip preparations and jump directly into sending someone brave outside. Wow, this is a lot more complicated than I thought it would be. Mary Jane is feeling safe. Who wouldn't in this coffin-sized shelter? Timmy seems okay, as much as he can in our current situation. Everything seems okay with Dolores. There's nothing going on with Ted. Nothing new, anyway. All right, so we know Timmy's the, the boy, which means Ted must be me, the man. So is Dolores my wife, or is uh, Mary Jane my wife? There's no way of knowing. Uh, time to... Who's this? It doesn't say. Time to ration supplies, I guess. There we go. We only have two more days left of supplies. Okay. Sending people out into the wasteland is no walk in the park. Do it too early or without a gas mask, and you can bet it's a suicide mission for them. Send healthy and well-fed people. Sick, hurt, or crazed people are more likely to perish out there. You can send one person at a time. Let's give it a try. This time you'll need to send someone out, but if you never want to skip a trip to the surface, don't select anyone. Oh, if you ever want to. Who should go outside? Timmy, of course. See ya, Tim Tim. You're, it's time to grow up. Time to be a man, man. He's gone. Hope he never comes back, honestly. Hey, maybe now we don't have to uh, uh, supply it. This is a drill. So your explorer will come back after a little while. But in an event of a real apocalypse, they might be gone for a couple of days. In the meantime, you'll be faced with other problems that'll test you to the limits. Test it to the limit. That's funny, right? I'm talking about making decisions that could break even the best of men's moral spine. We'll see what clay you're made of. But first, ration your food and water. We don't want anyone starving now, do we? It's impressive how well Mary Jane is handling the situation. She looks fine today. Timmy went out to the wasteland. We don't know what we'll do if he doesn't come back. Yikes. Dolores is quite calm given the situation. Ted seems to be doing all right, even though the world has gone to sh a crappy place. Yeah, we wouldn't want any fucking swear words in this series. Time to ration supplies. Boom, boom, boom. So I can't give them to Timmy, which means we're gonna have a little bit of food and soup left over, which is awkward. I'm an army man, so I don't know a second thing about imagination, but you could probably use yours now. Picture this scenario. You come across your kid's hamster, who, in some bizarre way, found its way to the shelter. The kids are obviously gonna love it, and so will you. There's nothing better than food that comes to you on its own. Now it's up to you. Do you cook him? Is this yes or no, I'm assuming? Of course, we need all the food we can get. Boom. Food time. At least it's not soup. You get sick of soup after uh, too long. Oh God, why is this open and gross? You can click on stuff too, checkers. Oh, okay, food supply, 125 cards. The portable radio, a suitcase, this light, a ventilator. Oh, there's Dolores, yeah, my wife, my wife, Mary Jane, my daughter. Water bottle, apparently, yeah, also 1.25. The lack of Timmy. Oh, here's the Ted, cool. Great, well. Hey, all right, uh, good choice. Everyone had a bite and fresh meat will not be as easy to come by in the days ahead. Best to take any chance you can get to eat. Believe me, you will find yourself and your family in much more dire circumstances than this. And there won't be a hamster around to save your ass. Your ass is grass. 
Mary Jane didn't cause any trouble today. No trouble today to cross her path. That's good. The list is quite calm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ted seems to be doing all right. Even though the world's gone, do. Yeah, okay. Yeah, crappy place. Well, Timmy's still gone. We'll never see him again. Okay, we only have two cans left. If we're here another day, then that's gonna be it. You might be faced with decisions that require you to use your equipment. However, sometimes you might find you don't have the one item that was supposed to save the day. So make sure to scavenge the right supplies before the blast, bro. Keep in mind, every item can be used for something. What do you want to do today? Clean a rifle, listen to the radio, or maybe play shadow bunnies using your flashlight. Well, not exactly overburdened with an abundance of options here. Boom. Hey, all right. Day five. Hey, he's back. And he looks a thousand years older. Okay, great. How you doing there? Oh, he's hungry, hurt, and tired. Oh no, Timmy. The radio is critical to establishing communications with the US Army, as well as for listening out for any trouble that might be headed your way. This is very, I don't, I don't like this. <laughs> I pr much prefer the little, uh, whatever's. Uh, okay, as well, blah, blah, blah. If you get lucky, you'll catch some music too. Good news, everyone. The expedition is back. Sometimes they'll return with extra supplies, sometimes they won't. Other times they'll come back with a nasty injury or even radiation sickness. Believe me, you don't want to get those. I hear glowing in the dark isn't as fun as it sounds. This time your explorer was hurt, but they will recover after the proper use of a first aid kit. You can use one during rationing. Okay. Oh, you can't click that. We were so afraid for Timmy, but he came back from the wasteland and is safe with us now. Before our neighbor, before leaving our neighborhood, our expedition noticed a group of scavengers. We didn't know them, yet they didn't have any reservations about scavenging the area clear. We decided to steal one of the numerous backpacks they had while well, they weren't looking. Lucky find! There were some cans inside. No, it's soup. It's always better when things are calm. Luckily, nothing new happened to Mary Jane today. Timmy should eat something. Timmy got hurt. Timmy's really tired. Uh-oh. Dolores is doing quite well. Well, that's nice. She just can't find anything to complain about today. Oh, or she just can't. Okay. No to problems with traveling Ted. Okay, what about... What about Timmy being hurt? You know, he's our son, right? Okay, well, let's heal him up. Uh, and then let's give him some food. Uh-oh. Oh, God, no. He doesn't need food. Except he's hungry. We'll give him some food. No water for you, though. Uh, who, who else needs food? I, I, I don't have enough water for everybody. That's good. You need at least one alive adult to keep going. If you send your only survivor to the surface, you won't know what's happening in your bunker until they come back. And when they do, your shelter might already belong to somebody else. A decent padlock may protect it, but not for long. This was a busy day. Take your time and get some sleep. If you made it this far, you're doing great. You have a chance of getting out of this foxhole. Hopefully soon, but don't quote me on that. How many days is this tutorial? Day six, at least six. All right, cool. Oh, what's this? Uh-oh. Oh, we completely empty first day. We only had one? Oh, he's hungry and tired. What? Go to sleep, Timmy. What else do you have to do? All right, let's go. We've only just sent someone outside, but let's give it another go today, shall we? <coughs> the first time you are only... Jeez, that's scary. The first time you are only asked to pick one only bad one brave volunteer to save the day. Woo. Uh, this time you will get a chance to equip your explorer with some useful gear. Feed your troops and I'll see you at the shelter entrance. Blah, blah, blah. Timmy is very hungry. Yeah. Timmy's healed up though. Good. Let's ration some supplies. I need food and water, but everyone else. Uh, Timmy. Nah, you're fine. You gotta save some for, for daddy, you know what I mean? Anything can be useful outside, and some items even improve scavengers' chances of survival. Notice you have a suitcase. That's handy. With the suitcase, your explorer can carry more. Go ahead, pick something. What to take outside? Oh, I can't. Who should go outside? Oh. Oh. Hey, all right. Ooh, there we go. Oh, I should have sent Timmy out, actually. Oh, well. See ya. Oh, what's this now? What's all this then? Hey there. Hey. How you doing? Shh. Shh. 
Ah, good stuff. We have fun here. Morning, people! You're probably asking yourself one simple question. What's the point of sitting in this atomic shelter? Why don't I just leave? Well, leaving is a death sentence. If the radioactive sickness doesn't kill you, then the giant scorpions will. You can trust me on that. I'm like elbowing. It's funny. Uh, your one chance is our boys arriving to rescue you, so every good citizen needs to do one thing. Seek contact with the US military in a way to rescue Mary Jane. It's yeah, blah, 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 okay. Uh, yeah, I don't care about Mary Jane, though. Uh, Timmy's very hungry. We can't leave Timmy with Timothy, Timmy without water for too long. Dolores, well, that's all I okay. Ted left for the surface. We hope we'll come back soon with all that equipment. I think, I think the, the joke is that he's just gone, he just took off. He just took everything and left. I guess everybody else can eat while he's gone. Whatever. No, no, no. The rescue ain't coming today, but we'll come to get you eventually. You need to keep your radio operational and be ready to venture into the waste. However, you also need to be careful. It might not only it might not be only our soldier out there. We could get bandits or worse. Camis. Just imagine what'll happen if the Reds discover you. So let's agree to the rules for this drill. You only open this door if somebody knocks two times. Am I clear? Two knocks. Sounds good. What day is it now? Day eight. Could have guessed that. Here we go. Hey, I'm back. And a gun? And a Boy Scout handbook? And more water and soup? Good. But no, uh... What do you call it? First aid. That's what it is. You'll need to remember that some days will be very intense. A lot of things will happen that you need to be prepared for. That's why any day that gives you a break is a blessing. And then to make sure to make the most of it. Eat, drink, and relax while thinking about all those commie bastards who don't have comfy bunkers like you. That thought always gets me through the day. <laughs> That's healthy. Uh, Ted is safely returned to his vo from his voyage to the surface. Got all that stuff back. One of the buildings to withstand the blast turned out to be our local bus station. If any survivors survived, passengers survived, they have long since abandoned the buses, leaving them at Ford's a purple pup. <clears throat> Backpacks, bags, sacks, and one guy even left a cupboard. <laughs> it was difficult to resist looking into it. Guess what? There was another smaller cupboard inside. Awesome. Our local athletics team was preparing to depart for a championship taking place somewhere in the boondocks. Their bus was full of refreshing water and spare shoes. Unfortunately, none of them were a match for us, so we just took all the water bottles. <laughs> During our expedition, we stumbled up onto a weird bar. We could have sworn it wasn't there before. Inside, we were greeted by an old man sitting at one of the tables, sipping dirty water. He invited us through a friendly game of poker, promising a reward if we win. Well, we beat the old guy and got a scout handbook as a prize. We said our goodbyes and walked out to the bar. We hope to find the place again someday. When we were passing through the ruins of the bar, we ran into a soup vending machine. We couldn't find any spare change, so we decided to try paying with checker pieces instead. It worked! Great. Uh, when exploring the wasteland, we noticed a box of rifle ammunition. We got some rifle ammunition. I'm assuming that all this is just... We found a thing. Yeah, plus one. Okay, we shouldn't have taken that old radio out with us! The fragile old box is broken now! Uh-oh, but what's this? Mary Jane keeps fainting. We really need to find her something to drink fast. Uh-oh. Everybody needs water. Ted is not complaining today, at least not very much. I don't know what you guys are talking about. I'm great. Alright, fine! Everyone can get a drink, especially Daddy. There we go. Uh, you don't need to eat. More food for daddy. As long as you keep your shelter stocked and remain cautious, you should be okay. However, every choice you make may come back to bite you in the ass, even after a few days or weeks. Consider your options carefully. This is a drill, but if the nukes start dropping, it'll be a totally different story. This seems like a terrible time, I gotta say. Like, these people do not seem happy. Alright, here we go. Uh, day nine. If I were you, I'd check the door. Oh, okay. Our extraction team might be coming any day now, but be careful. This is a post-apocalyptic scenario, and you never know what's coming. Okay, everybody's fine. Awesome. All right. Yeah, so, uh, boom, boom. Wait, there we go. Yeah. Awesome. Someone's at the door. You can hear several knocks. <gasps> if you listen closely, you can make out sequences of three knocks. You open the door. Um, yes, please. We're going to be rescued. Wow, it's it's all over. I was so worried, and yet now everything's fine because we're rescued. I know maths is hard, and I'm all for banning it in schools, but seriously, how do you mistake two for three? You were only to open up on two knocks. If this was the real apocalypse, someone would probably be cooking your leg over a campfire. Or worse, making you read marks. Anyway, everyone's safe, so that's good. Whoops! Uh, okay, well, I failed that. 
I was bailed. As you were counting imagery sheep in your head, another series of knocks broke concentration. Someone is really hammering on your door and probably not taking no for an answer. Two knocks, two knocks. The pattern keeps repeating. Well, that's four knocks. Do you open the door? No. I learned my lesson the first time. No more double knock. Okay, that's the end then. Did I win? Did I lose? Did I kaboom? It's better to miss an opportunity than to let crazy killer and possibly communist mutants into your shelter, but still, a missed opportunity may mean more time spent underground. Sometimes you cannot afford to waste an opportunity like the one you just missed. You need to remember that or you will die. You can now go back to your lovely house and continue your idyllic lives. If any atomic trouble comes your way, you know what to do and how to save yourself. I do hope it never comes to this, but if it fails, good luck. See you when all this blows over. We spent 11 days in our shelter. Day five, stealing for thieves. Day eight, bus station, ace up our sleeve, better than chess, and drop the base. And day 11, successfully passed the drill. I feel like we shouldn't have successfully passed the drill because we didn't, oh, medkit, all for, because we totally didn't actually do it. But oh well. Well, great then. Is this pizza on the roof a Breaking Bad reference? I'm feeling like it just may well be. I think it might just do. Whoops. Well, I opened up Steam. Well, Ooh. yeah, that's definitely part of the game. Uh, I tried to open up Steam. I have no internet, so it didn't really do much of uh, anything, really. Okay, great. Well, let's uh, let's uh, let's 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 do something real. What's this? Apocalypse? Oops. Hey, okay, the full atomic experience. Scavenge around your house for supplies and survive the post-apocalypse in your fallout shelter. Fat man. Exploration time, 10 seconds. Oh, before the uh, alarms go off. Okay, scavenge time, 60. Stock shelter, some junk. Packed suitcase, work briefcase. Health issues common. Fragile equipment average. Unwanted visitors, some. Trouble often. Are there other options? Sarbamba! That's the largest bomb ever exploded by, uh, dudes. Whoops. Zero seconds! Uh-oh! Scavenge time 60. Socks is- Oh, the shelter's empty! So this is like hard mode. Oh, it says right there, hard! Little boy. Oh, wait. Trouble? Oh, sometimes. Okay. Well, let's just do Fat Man. And what's this now? Oh, we can choose who to be! We can choose who to be! Awesome! Alright, I'll be the wife then. Well, actually, I want to see what these others are. Okay. There's also scavenge. Uh, scavenge supplies from your house and make sure the fallout shelter is well stacked by the end of your run. Oh, no survival included. Okay. Interesting. Uh oh, oh, they're coming. Listen for it. Oh, good. Actually, what, 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 what do we got? Okay. Well, then that's all that then is that so survival is this just the survival mode. Why would you want to do either of these? And why not just do all of it? Apocalypse mode. Why don't you just do that? I don't know. But why don't we do this in the next episode? I hate to do all of a tutorial in one episode, but that was a long tutorial. A lot to read. I hope there's not as much to read in the, uh, in the real game. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Tune in in two days for more exciting 60-second adventures. The next episode uh, will not only be 60 seconds. It will be 30 minutes, which is 60 times 30 math. I don't know. Guys, bye. Thanks for watching. I hope to see you again. Bye, everyone.